welcome to the sports bar on TalkSport with myself, Jamie Hara, and Jason Cuddy. Hey, has anyone seen Decore? Has anyone seen Murra? No Tottenham, no? No? Surprise. I mean, I'd love to. I'd love to, but it's a draw. All what right. are those two Muppets doing? No, no, hold on a minute. All right, Chelsea got pumped by Aston Villa at the weekend, sacked their manager, and all I'm hearing is Ozzy Ardila's going to Wembley. Here we go. What is this? Here we go. Draw. Ozzy's knees go away. He's victory. It's a disgrace. It is a disgrace. To be fair, hello. It is. Spurs are on their way to Wembley. Tottenham's going to do it. To be fair, it is a disgrace. And I'm not back. It's got nothing to do with me. Yeah, of course it has. No, it hasn't. No, 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 Jay. Jay. Got, no, I, I know it. Uh, got, Joe's got, got Chelsea, nothing to do with me. Che- Dom's a Fulham fan and Dom's a Fulham but, fan. But you know, you know, so 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 Billy is producing the show tonight. Jack is helping him. Guess who Jack supports? Oh, Chelsea. See, uh, it's Ter- pathetic. Terrible, it? The lot of yous. Ter- the ter- lot of yous ter- ter- should be ashamed. Nothing to do with me. How are you, matey? I'm good, mate. I'm no, good. No, no, okay. I mean, do you know Listen, what, right? so, I'm great. I'm in a great mood. I went away. Forgot you got, about yes, football. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Didn't have to see your ugly mug sorry, for five sorry, days. Sorry, sorry. Am I right in saying the last time we've we done a show together, we both had both teams had managers? <laughs> Yeah, I think is you're that, right. Is that that's happened, right? Probably right. Hold on. When did he get the sack, Conte? Um, it feels I think like, I'm right in saying. Like ages ago. Last, so much has happened. Last Sunday night. So yeah. I've, I haven't done a show. So th- this Sunday night, both our managers have gone in a week. Yeah. And we haven't seen one another. <laughs> <laughs> we should hug one. We should have a big hug. We have a big we? hug. We need one. We need I need hug. one after that. We tonight. do. Hug it out. Hug it out. Jeez. A sports bar hug. Um, look, I mean, we, look, we've got to talk about Tottenham. What a yeah. joke. Chase, I'm sitting here, I'm boiling. I'm boiling. And I know Spurs fans are absolutely boiling. It was a, I, I have to say, look, it was a disgrace. That last 15 minutes of that game, they should be ashamed of themselves to be walking in the dressing room and it be one all. What on earth are them players doing? And you know what? Conte come in for a load of stick, Jace. A load of stick. And, and how he said what he said and where he said what he said was wrong. But what he was 100% correcting was the fact that this team are pathetic. They've got no desire. They can't play under pressure. They are finished. They've got no character. They're washed as a team. And the, the quicker, the quicker we get rid of all these bang average players and bang average staff members and bang average team, the better Spurs are going to be. Because that tonight just sums up Spurs in a nutshell. Simple win. Go 1-0 up. See the game out. And what on earth are we doing? It was... it. Chase, I'm sick of being a Spurs fan. I'm sick of it. Come and, come and be a Chelsea fan, Jay. No. Jay, no. Jay, Jay, come be a Chelsea fan. No. We'll welcome you. Will we? Hold on, will we? I don't know, actually, think about it. No, that. I don't want to be a Chelsea fan. I, so want, to look, be, I uh, want to be a Spurs so, so fan. Listen, first Enjoy off, watching his team. Right, I say, so, fir- so first off, I think this, this is always a, a knee-jerk reaction. You're a Spurs fan, and I get it because it's your club. I get all that. No, there's no knee-jerk reaction, No, no, no. no there's but, no but, knee-jerk reaction but, from but, that but, tonight. No, but what we should be doing is sitting here and crediting Everton. We should be. No... That, what are you looking at that for? Credit Everton. Cre- credit, credit Everton. Credit. Hold on a no, minute. No, no. Credit on a Everton. They, they go are one a... nil up. Spurs go one nil up. Yeah. They're passing the game's the ball. over. Yeah. They're passing They've got the a man ball around the back, Jason. It's fine. Right. Sunday league fine. training fine. session. Fine, but 11... I better non-league 11, players. 11 v 10. Who was the better side? Yeah, because Spurs was okay. useless. Fine. Hopeless. But give Everton management. some credit. Are you not going to give Everton any credit? Oh, fair, listen, fair play to Everton. Well done, I know they got, in back, at 10, 10 got 10. back into the game. You know, great strike from Michael Keane. Well but they, done. But they but never. Tottenham, but they Tottenham, nev- Stellini. No. Stellini, he can do one. Right, okay. get, get out of the club. What is he doing there? He's clueless as well. They go down to 10 men. He's playing three at the back. Right. Against 10 men. They go one up and he, he sticks with the formation. Right? But let's let's just, ha- just, 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 get just out. for a second. Get them out. Can we just say. A lot ever, of them. Fight for their lives. Fighting for their oh, lives. Fighting for their and lives. They were the better side, 11 v 10. Better, they were. They were a better side, 11 v 11. Right, so let's give a little bit of credit to them because they kept going and it's a wonder strike. It is. They deserve that. They did not deserve to get beat tonight. No, they didn't. They did not deserve to Spurs get beat didn't, tonight. Spurs didn't look like winning the game with no. 11 players on well, the, the pitch. Well, the Decore sending off. We got lucky with a penalty. We didn't look like scoring yeah. when they had 10 men. Yeah. Two big decisions. 
that went um, that went that went there. And two correct decisions, by the way, for the, by the referee. Let's let's have it right. Yeah. Is the Decore sending off the penalty? Right. Let's, yeah. Let's, yeah. Um, and the more sending off. And, and the more. Yes, he's. Yeah, that's that. Stupid. Well, that that swung. If there was going to be that Everton needed a lifeline just to kind of give them a little bit of something with with you know minutes left. That was the one that the crowd, you get the crowd up, it's 10 v 10 all of a sudden. So 11 v 10 Everton on the better side, 10 v 10 we got a chance. And you know what, they might have, they might even have nicked it towards the end. So look, I understand your frustrations. Spurs are, it's one of those seasons, mate. Just get to the end of the season now. Oh. Try and hang in there for get, Champions yeah, League that, football. Yeah, but we ain't going to. No, we ain't going to. No, you know, Daniel look, Levy's a joke as well, Jase. Right, He's okay, a joke. Right. Bring in a manager. Bring a manager in, Jace. Yeah, but how, yeah, but this is when you got you got. But you when got Conte's but, but, leftovers still there? You have running got, the team, but still playing the same pathetic football that I watched all season. <laughs> Do something different. No, I mean, well, it's, it's not it's, rocket it's, science. It's, it's, it's amateur hour at the football Joe, club. He's done all right, though. He's done all right, haven't he? When whenever he took on charge, when 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 Conte had his gallbladder taken out, he had what four or five games. He's the done only all right, player, didn't he? Yeah, he did all right. But watching that tonight, he can do one as well. Get him out. I'd rather Ryan Mason and a kit man in charge. Seriously, the only player on that pitch who deserved to be on that pitch tonight was Oliver Skip. I thought, I thought, I thought Skip was good. I thought The Skip, rest of them. I thought Skip was decent. Joke. Yep, yep, yep. So, can we just talk about the red card for a second? Yeah, go on. Um, it's a red. It's a red. Oh, no, there's, there is, there's no doubt about it. It's a red. And I hear a lot of people having a pop at Kane, right? Now, so I'm no Spurs fan. I'm a, I love Kane. I think he's brilliant, right? I'm no Spurs fan. But let me tell you now. Any Everton fan that phones up here wants to have a pop at Kane, if you're going to do that, make sure you point the finger in the right direction first and have a pop at Decore. Because mm. you eat whatever you think Kane did after that, we'll have that, your opinion. Decore, idiot. You raise your, you raise your arm, you put your fist or your hand or your, or your, or your, or your palm in, in a player's face. They're going to go down. Kane, as far as I'm concerned, done nothing wrong. Kane has done what 99 or 90% of the footballers would do. Can I get a new man for advantage for him being an idiot? Whether Kane goes down or not, it's a red card. Can we just agree on that? It's uh, a red yes. card. Yes, it's a red so card. So he hasn't got to hit the ground. He's put his fist to his hand, his face. No, you hit the ground because you have to show to, and so that everyone sees it. To bring it to the referee's attention, exactly. to, to highlight it. That's all he's but done. But do you think he's a bit soft? No. England, no, you know, he's England no, captain. No, no, no. Sets examples no, for a lot of people in the game. Don't care. Don't care. Decore's the idiot. Highlight him being an idiot. I see Todd Kosky having a word with him, a laugh and a joke. Come on, let's 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 have this absolutely right. There's only one fool out there tonight, and it wasn't Kane. Mm. I agree with you. You can have your say on what me and Jason have just said. Let's go to Simon, who's a Spurs fan. All right, Si? How you doing, boys? Yeah, good, um, mate. Si. What did you make of that? Oh, do you know what? I was having a really good day until I stuck the TV on. You know, I want to go back to um, Portugal. I need another holiday. <laughs> Look, uh, here, I tell you what, the, these boys have played the game to a very high standard. How can I be not the only one, a guy who sits at home, who's never played a game of football, who just watches it and screams at FIFA when he's getting battered, right? Mm. But how can I be the only one that can see this? We're playing out from the back with players that can't play out from the back. How many times did we lose the ball in a dangerous position from playing out from the back? Mm. Not even that. We've got a goalkeeper sitting in the, in the nets who's got 10 years' experience and is the captain of our club, yep. standing watching this and doing absolutely nothing. nothing. The, only thing I seen that, the only thing I seen the night that I thought was brilliant was Hoiberg screaming at them mm. after about the sixth time this happened. Still, any standing on the side of a guy who's been mentored by one of the best managers in the world, who, who actually just got sacked for telling the truth and how it was, and all the players threw the dummy out, the, out of the cot. Jason, uh, Jason Conde, you're absolutely right. Everton deserved that game tonight. They, they, they should feel like they've been rotten because Spurs were rotten from. Uh, you know, mm. I think from from the penalty, from the penalty we lost it. But even before the penalty was scored, we looked incredibly vulnerable, and we just sat back and did it. And the only players who I think are worth even staying in that team is I, I like what I've seen from Poro. I like the energy. Yeah, and I think he is trying and he's worth it. And. Um, Son, I don't even know why he started. They talked about the game that he had a loss, and I, I, my heart goes out to the guy. He, he's had a family loss. What's he doing on the pitch then? Mm. It's clearly affected him. He's yeah. not in the right frame of mind. And why a player who we tried so hard to get, and who I actually think was quite decent, Dan Yuma, he's sitting there. More is getting on ahead of him, the guy that's leaving us in the summer. Oh, no. Why are we not giving the chance to him? Do you know what I mean? Papi Sar sat there. You know, it's, it's, it's just... Romero, I, I'm literally I, I'm banging my head against the wall watching Romero, a guy who's mm. just won the World Cup, and he's he don't know. Eric Dyer, mate. Eric Dyer and Lingley. Yeah. What are they doing when we go one nil up? What are they doing? 
I mean, the way they're passing the ball around, it's like they're scared to pass the ball forward. I mean, you can put it anywhere. The amount of backward passes I see go back to Hugo Lloris is pathetic. It really is. But I don't don't understand why we... They've just lost their manager. They know the season's coming to an end and we're still fighting. The only good thing that comes out of the night, do you know what I'm going to come out and say? I hope we don't get top four just to spite Daniel Levy. Just to spite him. You'll say that now, Simon. Simon, look, look, I've been there as a fan. You're angry, you're hurt, you're disappointed. I get all of that. But let me tell you, next season, you, you, you... you know, I, I hear what you're saying. But the club, again, this is, you know, it's amazing. Spurs, they could get Champions League football. They ain't know. getting Champions League They could, but I'm saying... Get knocked yeah, out. Could. You could, but I'm saying you're in a position to fight and he gets the manager of the sack, but it's... Did that look like a performance? This, did that look like no, a team of players, do, do a group know, of players there that are fighting it, to get in the Champions fear, League? It was fear football I watched tonight. Fear? It's fear. And there's... and there was a le- When you are... <clears throat> when you're in a situation like Spurs are where the, the manager's gone and you've got a new manager or a new boss in there in situ, you've got to take some responsibility. You've got, play, you've got experienced players in there. He's right what he says. Hoiberg saying it. You and I watching it, right? Yeah. And then Larice is going from left. Larice with his feet, mate. He ain't a good goalkeeper, right? Uh-huh. So he's inviting trouble. I know. Everton, keep passing it back to Everton, him. Do you know what you need to do? No, this kills time. The goalkeeper puts the ball down, the players spread, spread wide, the three, and they've got another international sign for up the field, the goalkeeper yeah. does, right? Uh-huh. You wave them up, right? You uh-huh. wave them, and you wait for them. They get onto the halfway line, yeah. and you go long. You don't invite the trouble. It, play it into Everton's hands. Yeah, play it into I, Everton's I, hands. But, uh, uh, I mean, how hard is that, Chase? I mean, I'm not being... I know we've played the game, but there's fans out there that are tweeting and they're saying, you know, we've, we've probably not played the game. Everyone could see it. How on earth, when you've got players like Romero, who's won a World Cup, you've got Hoiberg, you've got Hugo Lloris, who's won a World Cup, Kane, you've got a manager Kane, England, on the sideline, England, 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 England captain, a standing there on the football pitch and not saying to him, what are you doing? Get the ball up the pitch... Play in their half, we're a man over, and we keep the ball in their half and make them run around. You're passing the ball around in the six yard box and giving it away. It? Yeah, it's. It's like I'm watching kids' football. It's amazing that, that we're, the, we're sitting there watching, and you felt, look, in the end, it's a wonder strike, right? It's a wonder That's strike. A strike. I mean, it's, it, it is a wonder strike. But before that, before even Lucas Moore gets the, the red card, Spurs were on the they're on the back foot eleven v ten yeah. that numerical advantage if you come down and just landed and from space and you watch that game and you watch the last twenty minutes since Corey got the red card you would never have guessed it was eleven v ten unless you counted the play you would not have guessed it the sports bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy Monday to Thursday nights from ten on AM on DAB via the Talksport app and on your smart speaker Talksport.